Uh, when the classes is going to start? Is there any update on that?
Hi, good morning, everyone. Yesterday was a demo, right? So there are some prerequisites which we need to put for our class every day. So this is the kind of tracker which you need to prepare in your Excel sheet. Okay. So the tracker is like all about serial number, date. Let's suppose today's date is 22nd. May day day one YouTube link. So YouTube link will be provided after each session by front office chief to you. And topic covered. What topic we covered for the particular day? That's how you need to maintain this tracker. I'll tell you why it is important. After completing ten days, if you are getting stuck on any of the topic, right? If you want to revise that topic, how will you find that topic? If you do not have this tracker, it won't be easy for you, right? You, and you cannot check each and every video, go back and check. Right? So that's how you need to prepare this tracker. Or if you want to create in your notepad, that is also fine. But in notepad, you, will, you cannot write YouTube link, right? So instead of that, you can create a one tracker in your system, put it on the desktop, and you can refer this for future reference. Fair enough? Very, very important. Because I have come, I have come across wherein people, they are asking same question. Instead of that, if I am explaining it again, it will take time for others. It will kill the time for others as well, right? The same topic. I can understand if the same, the same topic, if you have any other additional question, then I can explain but I cannot explain the entire topic again. Yes or no? So that's how you need to prepare this tracker. It's for everyone. Yeah, very, very important. Second thing, once the class is over, you will be having 24 hours for the next class, right? So my request is please practice in the same so that you will be ready for the next class. And the topic which we are going to cover here, it will be correlate to the next topic. Yeah. If you haven't completed, let's suppose if I'll cover conditional formatting. In the next class, if I'm explaining something and where wherein I'll also apply some conditional formatting. If you are not able to do that, then what will happen? Again, you'll get stuck, right? So my recommendation is always practice on the same on the topics, whatever we will cover. Today. Fair enough. This is the only thing I want from your side. If you're getting stuck anywhere, we are there to help you. But if you are not practicing, after three, four, five days, you will feel that the classes are very really boring. Happens. If something is not Going inside our mind, what you will think? Classes are very boring. Meet any trainer, meet any teacher. Whether teacher excellent, trainer is excellent or not. If we are not practicing, definitely you will think that I'm not getting it. Why not you getting it? Because we are not practicing. Yes, you lose your interest for sure. And initially, four to five days. As I mentioned yesterday, the classes will be very basic things, very, very basic. So you have to bear with me. But in basic also, if I'll ask questions, yesterday I asked you questions in basic, right? What happened? You were not able to answer. Yeah. So it will be very basic. If you are considering yourself, no, I'm, in, I'm in already champ in this thing. It was my wrong decision to join this class. But Trust me, the basic thing also, I will ask you, 
might be few of them you will not be able to answer those. Clear? Second thing. Second thing is you need to check your Excel version. Which Excel version you have? Yeah. I want minimum 2016 and above. Again, I'm yesterday also I told 2016 and above I want. If you're 2016 below, then I can't help it. You should not come back to me and ask me that, sir, I do not see this option in my laptop. Why? Which version you have? 2007, 2010, 2013. I can't help it. You have to have your system upgraded minimum 2016 and above. Minimum. If you're 2019, perfect. 2021, perfect. To some extent, 2016 is also fine, but 2019 is also good, 19 and above. But if you have already 2016, that is also fine. But not 2013, not 2007, not 2010. Clear? Excellent. Now, if we do any kind of analysis, right? Right. And if I talk about the Excel, what we are going to cover in next 21 days, including today, it's 22 days. The class will be 22, 22 days. It can be 20, 21, 22 days. Depends on your learnings. Okay. It, it may reach to 24 days also. Those one batch wherein I took 24 classes. Depends on the participants. Okay. So wherever you are working on Excel, what we do or what we will learn in this session is, first of all, data. We need to understand the data. We need to understand the data. What kind of data it is. Whether it is a number, it is a text, it is an error, it is a logical, right? Those kind of data types we need to understand. That also we'll understand as part of this entire Excel session. Okay, real types, understand number and formats, information, how to transform into information using formulas. So 100 plus formulas we'll be discussing. Yesterday I showed you, right, one PDF. So 100 plus formulas we'll be discussing during the session. How can we summarize the data? With the help of groups, subtotals, data management, etc. How can we present the data? Based on pivot tables, based on charts, graphs, yeah. And there will be various types of charts. Will be a pie chart, clustered column chart, bar chart, donut chart, yeah, scatter plot chart, bubble chart. That also we'll discuss. Radar chart, line chart. Yeah. Analyze the data. Once you are done with the pivot and charts, then what will be prepare? We'll prepare dashboards. Yesterday I showed you one profit analysis dashboard, right? Wherein it was giving a clear picture of the business which product has the maximum profit, least profit, right? And it was also showing me the profit trends per year, right? Print, once you are done with the dashboards, you might have seen in office or anywhere or any big company or hospitals also or any organization, they're putting one kind of board and in that board, they'll be showing monthly progress. Yes, kind of charts, will, they'll, they'll be showing, okay, this month revenue was this, or they'll also paste some kind of pictures, start of the month of the employee. Why they're putting it? So that employee will see, until unless if you're not giving any responsibility to your team members, they will not feel motivated. If they are coming, going back to home, coming to office, going back to home, working in some database, right? Or any of the work. If they don't know their responsibility, they will not feel motivated. Every day, same work. What, what extra responsibility you have given to them? Or what responsibility they have? They do not know their roles and responsibility. They, they do not know their SODs, segregation of duties, right? Then what will happen? End of the day, they will feel that there's no value. There's no value in my office. I don't have my value in my office. 
I don't know what I'm doing. Same thing happens in our personal life also, right? If some our father, our our father or our mother or you know brother, whatever they have given us as a responsibility, what you will do? You will do that task, right? And you will feel that I have some importance in my family. Happens. Same thing happens in professional life also. Yeah. So that's how. If you are, you know, stick their picture on the wall or the whiteboard or wherever it is on the, you know, any board, what will happen? They will feel motivated that yes, I have awarded in my team. It's a matter of one certificate also only. It doesn't matter that if you if you are giving some ten thousand bucks to a person, or if you are giving a one certificate in front of everyone. If you are applauding for them, definitely people will be feel motivated. Yes or no? Yeah. So that's how printing techniques will also discuss. Printing techniques will discuss about like you know how can we give the printing two side pages, or how can we give the page number of each and every page. If I'm giving ten hundred pages without page number, and I'm shuffling all the papers, I'm I'm giving those papers to you. Can you shuffle those papers one to hundred? You can shuffle, but after seeing in the main database in the system then only you'll say okay this is this line you know page number 7 over this is page number 7 but what about if i'm giving page numbers on each and every page then it, it will be easy for us to rearrange all these papers right protect means let's suppose you have worked on excel file and you close the file you went on a break after coming from the break you find that some data has been manipulated by Someone. Then how can we do that? We can protect the sheet so that no one can touch, edit, add, amend the data. No one can do it. There will be few few instances wherein only I want to give access to these cells. So you can only enter data in these cells. Apart from these cells, you cannot enter, edit anything in the other cells. That is called edit custom, edit edit range. Yes, that also we'll discuss. As part of this entire Excel, these are the things which we are going to discuss in detail. Got it? <laughs> About Excel, as I mentioned, minimum two thousand sixteen. How to check it? I will go into file, more, and account. Can you see in my system? I have Microsoft Office Professional Plus 2021. Yeah, this way you can check it, or you can go to Window key, press Window key, or Window R. Window R. This run command will be there, and then you have to press. You have to write Control Panel. Go to Control Panel, Programs, Programs Features, and you will find it here. So please share the screen. Sir. Sorry, one minute. I'm sorry, guys. I was not sure that I'm sharing my screen or not. So again, I'll repeat. File, more, accounts. I have two thousand twenty one. Or what you can do, you can press Window R, and then you can write Control, hit OK, go to Programs, Programs and Features. Here you find it. Can you see? So that's how today you need to check it in your system. Clear? If you had 2016 below, please have it upgraded. Minimum two thousand sixteen is up nineteen twenty one. Okay, fair enough. Okay, now why do we need Excel? What is Excel? Tell me. What is Excel? Why do we need Excel? Uh -huh. 
okay excel is a tool excellent yeah yes yes why do you need excel why can't we work on ms word why why you need excel only why can't you work in ms word why can't you work in ppt in powerpoint presentation why do you need excel formulas based yes excel has rows and columns where we can store data where we can store data we can apply the formulas we can create the pivot tables we can create the charts right we can store data we can do the calculation right that's what we need excel and who is the competitor for excel in the market Okay, who is the competitor for iPhone? Sure. OnePlus. Oh, Samsung, OnePlus, I. If I'm not wrong, iPhone is iOS, right? And these phones are Android. Mm -hmm. So who is the competitor for iPhone in the market? No one. As of now, no one, right? Because iPhone is a iOS. Mm -hmm. OnePlus, Samsung, these all are Android. If I ask you, okay, who is the competitor for Realme? Then you can tell me X, Y, Z names. Because these all are Android only. Then you can tell, tell me OnePlus, Samsung, Realme, or MI, right? Then I can tell you. So same way, tell me who is the competitor for Excel? Might be you are thinking Google Sheet. In your mind, right? Google Sheet. Google Sheet, to some extent, I would say yes. But in Google Sheet, also, it's limited. Google Sheet, it's a limited. It's a limited. You cannot apply each and every function in Google. To a certain extent, it's fine. So, in the market, Excel itself is a competitor for Excel. There is no one in the market. Right? This history of Excel is 1978. VGCalc was introduced. SuperCalc was introduced, introduced in 1980. Lotus 123, 1983. Multiplan Excel got introduced in 1985. If you want to read more, know about more these tools, you can go ahead and you can check with this URL. This whatever I'm showing on my screen, every Excel file will provide it to you. Okay, you can ask to front office team; they will give you drive access. From the drive, you just you have to download the Excel file and save it to your desktop. You have to unzip the folder. Do not work in zip folder. Okay. Because working in zip folder, the file will not be saved. Got it? Yeah. So if you know more about these tools, you can go ahead with this. You are okay and done. So after this multiplan Excel 1985, after that, we got the first launch in 2000, 97, 2003. 97, 2003, that time. Who are the computer for Excel? Excel itself. Now, I have one file open currently, right? I can call this as Excel file, Excel workbook, or spreadsheet. You might have seen your client is asking, hey, can you please send me that uh, spreadsheet? They're calling like, they're writing like this, or they're calling, hey, can you please send me that Excel file? Hey, can you send me that Excel workbook? Workbook. Workbook. File. Spreadsheet. All are same. Clear? This is the entire workbook. In one Excel workbook, we can have multiple worksheets. These are sheets or worksheet. Clear? Sheets or worksheet. In single worksheet or work or, or sheet, we'll have so many rows and columns. So many 
rows and columns. And what is cell? This cell number is C73. What is C? Column. What is 73? Nothing but cell is intersection of rows and columns. The definition of cell is intersection of rows and columns. Is it clear? Perfect. Cell, intersection of rows and columns. Worksheet. Worksheet, you can call it worksheet. You can call it sheet and all the cells. There are so many cells in one sheet. It's kind of tongue twister. Worksheet, sheet, all the, all the cells in one sheet. Like we are calling one tongue twister. We devote some butter, but the butter was so bitter. So we devote some more butter to make butter bitter better. <laughs> right? So in tongue twisters, it's kind of that. So nothing but we can call it worksheet. This is called worksheet. Worksheet is about Excel. In one worksheet, we will have so many cells. Yeah. Then workbook, we can call it file. We can call it all the sheets. All the sheets will be in one single one. Clear? Yeah? Object model of Excel. Let's suppose you have this pen, right? This pen, right? In this pen, you have a refill inside. Under refill, you have ink. So for this pen, refill and ink is the mod is the objects. Yes or no? And this is called pen. Name. Same thing. In Excel also, we are having so many tables, shapes, pivot tables. These are objects of Excel. These are objects of Excel, right? Workbook, worksheet, cell, charts, shapes, and tables. These are object model of Excel. Yeah? Now, if I open a new workbook, the shortcut key is Control plus N. New workbook open. What is the workbook name? Book 1. By default, book 1. But if I want to save this file with another name, then Save as. Save as shortcut key is F12. F12. Control S is the save. There is a difference between save and save as. Save means it will be saved with the same name. But if I want to give a different name, then it has to be save as. If you can go to file, you can click on save as. Or the shortcut key for save as is F12 key. Which key? F12. Can you see if I enter F12, what is showing to me? And my recommendation is either on page number one or in the last page. Prepare your notes with the shortcut keys. Okay. That's how generally like we used to maintain in our academics, first clip page or last page. Important notes, right? Because in between pages, you will not find the shortcut. Either make the first page or last page shortcut keys. It will be good to having the glance in all together yes okay so this is save as key i will save this file to my folder my folder name is this let me save it today's date is by 2024 i'm just giving a file name that's it and going to save it save now file name is this clear done now let me go back to that folder. Let me see that. This is the file. What is default file extension? Dot .xlsx, starting with x, ending with x. xlsx, very, very important guys, this extension. What is the file extension? Dot .xlsx, by default, right? I am not changing any extension, right? Simply I give the file name and I save it. So now, from 2007 onwards, 2007 onwards, the file by default will be saved with this extension, with this extension. Earlier when, I still remember when I bought my first computer in 2002, 2002, before 2007, 2002. That time, the file extension used to be .xls, .xls, .xls. Why this dot xls? Why dot xls x? What is the difference between it? I'll tell you. 2007 onwards, 
2007 onwards, how many rows and columns we have? 10 lakhs. 2007 onwards, we have 10 lakhs, 48,576 rows. You can check it here. Can you see the last row? 2007 onwards, how many columns we have? 16,384. Clear? Let's suppose if I'm working in an Excel file, wherein my data is around 90,000 rows. How many rows? And I have, let's suppose, 2021. Let's suppose you have 2097-2003 Excel version, right? If I'm going to send this file, wherein I have how many lines data? 90,000, 9090. I am going to share that file with you. Do you think that you will be open that file? The answer is not to be showing you. File not supported. File not supported. Why? Because limit. There's no limit in your file. The max limit is in your file is 65,536. Dot XLS. This dot XLS was there up to 2003. Up to 2003. You got it now? The friends. If you are working in file or you know that I want to share this file with my colleague or with my friend and he has 2003 Excel version, then you should not take more than these many rows. And the file has to be saved with which format? .xls. How can I save that example here? Let me save this file again. I have to choose from here this one. 97-2003. Let me save it. Let me give underscore one. Which version I have choose here? And if I save it, now you see. Dot XLS. But let me tell you one thing. Now we should not bother about it because 99% people will be having at mm -hmm. least 2007 and above. It's been around how many years? 2007, now we are in 2024, right? Almost how many years? 14 plus seven, 21 years. Yes or no? Yeah, not seven, three. 20, 14 plus three, 17 years. Yes or no? Got it? So not required to save this file. No one will be using. Our Dada may be using. Or Nani will be using. Google system will be using. Nani will be using. Nani will be using. Nani will be Still they are using. Not Android phone. They are using Nokia 11 Android still. Yes or no? Our Dada, Nana, Nani. Correct? Yeah? So 97-2003. This will be the version. It can store data, macros, binary format. All the formats in single file only. Single extension. And use your .xls if you are using if you are going to share this file with your friends, people that have older versions, yeah. Excel workbook, by default version will be that I showed you just now. And it can only store data, but not macros. And you are thinking that this file, it used to have data storing, macros, binary format, then this was good, right? I just thinking. Yeah, but what will happen with .xls, if you're using this format, the storage will be more. Best example in this, currently I'm set, currently we're sitting in this room, we are using AC, fan, uh, tube light, and here, TV. After using, after completing the class, what, do I, what I will do, I'll switch off for everything, right? No, not needed. Same thing, if you do not run the macro, if you're not running a macro, then by default, the file should be this version only. If it is a requirement is there, no, I want to run, record a macro, I want to run a macro, then you will save file with this format, dot .xlsm. What is macro? VBA macro. VBA macro will save the time. Will save the time. How? I'll tell you. Example, you are extracting a file from any tool, let's suppose SAP. Sam, you're extracting a file every day 
and uh, your boss wants to know that yesterday how many invoices processed in the system and very first important thing in your office is once you log in it you are the responsible person you have to extract a report from sap and then you need to do some formatting to it you have to enter some details let's suppose who processed the invoice highest number process by whom xyz formatting or you know additional columns that every day you have to do it same thing can be do same formatting can be done with the help of macros with the help of macros and wherever you are taking 10 minutes 10 minutes task can be done in less than 10 seconds in less than 10 seconds best example in your gully in your street the person is selling onion what is saying bandaga nalgu kg onion puligada yes that is pre recorded audio pre recorded audio right then he is playing it again and again he is not speaking right it's pre recorded audio and here it will be recorded macro program same thing he is also saving time if he will speak it up entire day his vocal will be gone yes or no and he cannot focus on the sellings right same thing pre recorded audio is there here will be having pre recorded macro program that in detail if you want to know do your macros also macro class you have to join done we can do it we can do it i'll tell you this example currently i save this file with dot xls let me save let me record the macro let's suppose i have recorded the macro after recording the macro the file has to be saved which which format excel macro enabled work once you create the macro after creating the macro you have to save this file with excel macro enabled workbook i'm giving this m just to just for my reference okay let me save it let me check it here what do you see here in the in the end m for macro here done it can store data plus macros use dot xls m if you are going to share file with people that have excel 7 and above version excel 7 and above it has all the formats xls m xls x xls b and above version and you will run the macro then only save the file with xls m otherwise by default it will be xls x By default, will be Excel SX. You are sure that no, no, I, I, I am going to write macros. Okay, then yes, save that file with this format. Because after recording the macro, if you are saving the file with this format, record macro will not support. I might. It will give an error. Please save this file with macro enabled workbook. Okay. Last is dot xls b b for binary binary format. It will be reducing the file size, reducing the file size, and work efficiency will be more. But I will tell you one thing. When I used to have my first computer, in my first computer, I used to have, I used to have. the ram size 256 mb 2002 you know how, how how much was the hard disk size 2 gb 2 gb 2 gb hard disk 256 mb ram not even half gb ram nowadays forget about the system in cell phone itself samsung S twenty T, I think, if I'm not wrong, right? S twenty T, or I don't know what is the model. Number. There we have a twelve GB RAM, twelve GB RAM, right? So this binary format, no one is using because in the laptop we have a eight GB RAM, twelve GB RAM, right? And hard disk wise we have a one TB as well nowadays. One TB, five hundred GB, right? 
So this we, this one we are not using it. If you really want to know that what is the difference between this and this, I can show you an example. Let's suppose this is the file. Let me can you see here the file size is what is the extension here B B for what is the difference between size by this this and this this is less right yes or no? Take the example. How can I save it? Simply go there, F12 key, and here you need to choose binary format. Binary format will be here. That's how you can do it. But in my in my entire career from last 10 years, I'm not using binary format. We already we have too much space available. Got it? Space and workbook efficiency will be more, little bit faster. Done. Any questions so far? Any questions? So up to 2003, how many rows we used to have? 65, 536. And how many columns we used to have? And column address is IV. What is IV? I'll tell you. What is column number one? A. B is what? Two. D is what? D is four. D is four. What is Z? Wow, excellent, guys. Okay, tell me this column. Number? You told me Z is 26. <laughs> now tell me. <laughs> okay, tell me this column. Again, we have to count A, nothing but 26 plus W will be which number? It's 26 plus this. That's how we calculate, right? But let me do one thing. I'm entering number one. This plus one, two, right? Let me go to the right hand side. Shift, control, right arrow key. Everything we will discuss in detail, okay? How I choose this, all the columns. What I did is, shift, control, right arrow key, control R. Okay, and what I said, IV, right? How can I go to that IV column? Any idea? Okay, how can I go to cell number A10? I can go there, A10 is this, right? How can I go to cell number A1000? You'll go like this? Huh? No. <laughs> go there and type in A1000. Now I want to go to IV. I will write it here. I and V and 1. IV1. How many columns? And how many columns we used to have? You got it? You got it now? What is column address? XFD. Now we have XFD. How many columns we have? 2007 onwards? 2007 onwards. 2007, 10, 13. 2007 onwards. How many columns we have? 16,384. If you look at here, what is the column address? XFD. Now you got it. What is IV? What is XFD? Yes. Last column. Last cell. Yeah. Now you got it. What is XFD? What is IV? Excellent. Any questions so far? Why can't it reverse? It's a it's a definition terminology defined by Microsoft. That is the really logic. I don't know. Got it? Maybe if you are writing A B C this way, A B C D. Okay. Up to what number you can write? I have ten lakhs forty eight thousand. Don't you think that you will get confused? Row wise 10 lakhs 48,000. A, B, C, D, then what you will write after XFD? XFD is nothing but 16,000 something change. We have 10 lakhs. Then how you will understand those things? Might be that is a logic. Okay. How many of you are from uh, math background? Maths. Good. 
you science. But we have studied math in 8th class, 10th class, right? Very simple question I'll ask. Let me give one shape here or border, sorry, thick border. Okay. This is the kind of, let's suppose there is a work going on. You are going to build a new house. Okay. And carpenter comes and uh, the charges which he is asking for 300 rupee s square feet 300 rupee per square feet he is charging for the window this is the window window width is Four feet height is three feet. Tell me for this window, what will be the charges if he is charging three hundred square feet? Square feet. The size of this window will be 4 into 3. Yes or no? Height into width. Forgot. Yes or no? Height into width will be your square feet. Whenever you are going to buy a flat. First question is how much square feet is. What do you do? You do it, right? Width and height. You don't do it. You don't do it. You don't do it. Width and length we are multiplying it then we are buying the flat then we are saying that okay my flat is 600 square feet okay, no? if it is 40 by 40 nothing but 1600 square feet yes or no same thing here 4 into 3 12 12 into 300 3600 for this window will be charging only labor charge the battery will be yours got it now I have one question for you. Let me enter one, one, one. How many times I entered one? So tell me if I entered 10 times one, 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 how long it took for me? I entered 10 cells. 10 seconds? Nothing but if I divide 10 by 10, one second per cell. Agree? But today's homework for you is this one. You need to enter one, one, one manually. No drag down, no drag left, no drag right, no drag up. You need to write no copy paste, no formula, nothing. You need to write manually all this one 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 no cheating please okay as per you how long will it take to fill an entire sheet only one sheet i'm not asking to apply in this sheet also only sheet number two you need to enter one 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 how long will it take any idea sir Sorry. That's what I just want to know your uh, you know math calculation. Any idea? Give me any like you know weak numbers. Let's think on it. Online participants, why the silence? Hmm. Arjun Srikanth, Trim, Trimutulu, Venkat. Hmm. Tell me, guys, one hour, ten hours, hundred hours, thousand hours. Is 
16 lakh seconds. Okay, let's do one calculation. How many rows and columns I have? Hmm. Let me copy these numbers. Let me copy it, paste it here. These are the rows. These are the rows, nothing but like this. This is nothing but height. Yes or no? Columns are like this. This is nothing but width. Can I say this is height? This is width. Yes or no? So I can multiply these things, right? This multiply by this. These many cells. How many cells? These many cells. So I can say that these many cells and I can say cells equal to seconds. That's what you told me, right? One second, one cell. These many cells. Now, in a one minute, how many seconds? 60. One hour. Second, seconds. I'm asking seconds. Yes or no? 60 multiplied by 60, one hour. How many hours we have in a day? It means this number multiply by multiply by 24. 24 hours, nothing but one day. Yes or no? How many days we have in a year? So I would say that this number multiply by so total second in a year. Agree? Now, if I divide this number with this, what will happen? Number of years will be there. Yes or no? Let's check it. This divided by this. How many years? For 545 years it will take. Can you imagine? अपने बच्चे के उसके बाद पांच पीढ़ी से जनरेशन कंप्लीट हो जाएगा उसके तब तक भी चलता रहे। The point why I am giving this example, few people they are saying that you know I do not have much size available, I do not have more columns, I do not have more rows in my Excel file, you know, so it will not be suffice. See guys, read it. How big is your worksheet? You got it now? To so fill it, how long will it take? 544 minutes. 545 years. I still can't believe. But hence proved. I proved by, by the math only. Is there, the any, is there any no chance to fill uh, all the cells? Huh? I can fill it in one second also. All 10 seconds, I can fill all the number one. But what I'm saying is, you have to enter manually only. That was the first condition I told you, right? Okay. <laughs> I can fill, I can drag it, left, right, copy, paste, I can do it. But I was just telling you that if you are entering manually these numbers, then it will take these many years. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to the next. Point Excel UI. What is Excel UI? User interface. User interface. So whenever we are going to, whenever we are buying any product, let's suppose a TV or refrigerator or AC, we are getting one manual user guide, right? One manual user guide will be there. Then in that, it will be some numbers will be mentioned. Number one, number two. Then it will be showing that okay, number one denotes this. Number two denotes this. Right? Happens. Same thing here also in Excel also we need to understand what this is all about. Example here. If I say this section, this section called as a title bar. This is called title bar. Like every movie has title song, max, title track, title song, right? Every file will have a title. By default, if I am entering control N and control N, what is the file name? Book preview. This is the title of this book. 
Now, if I'll save it with different name, that file name will be changed. So in this case, the file name is file 2 2024 underscore m. Clear? This is called a title bar. This is called title bar. We have file, home, insert, page layout. These are called as a ribbons. As a ribbons. These are ribbons. You can call it tab as well. In office, we are calling, we are saying that, hey, can you please go into insert tab? Can you go into home tab? Can you go to data tab? How can I apply the sort? You can go into data tab. You can go into data tab, sorting is there. Right? So you can call it as a tab or ribbons. In each ribbon, we'll be having groups. Clipboard group, font group, alignment group, number group, styles group, right? In data, data, data uh, ribbon will have uh, these many groups. Can you see these groups? Yeah. Title bar, ribbons, and groups. This section called as a formula bar, not search, formula bar. Formula bar. If I'm entering some numbers here, 10, 20, 60 is here, right? See, if I want to see the formula, I can see the formula here. Do I have a formula here in this cell? Until unless if I will not put a cursor, I can't say it. I'm putting my cursor here and I can check here. Do you see the formula here? No. But here, formula bar. This is called formula bar. Okay. Currently, I'm on which cell number? Okay. You're, you're seeing where? This is called name box. This is called name box. A, B, C, D, vertically assigned. These are columns, vertically assigned. One, two, three, four. It's a rows. A, B, C, D, vertically assigned like electric pole, right? Electric pole will be vertically assigned only, right? One, two, three, four, like a floating river. Will be horizontally only, right? As to the river. Right? <laughs> Floating river. It's kind of a one, two, three. That is rows. A, B, C, D is a column. Excellent. Now, these are cells. What is cell? Cell is the intersection of rows and columns. This section called as a zooming option. Which option? Zooming option. This section is called, can you see this ready? This is called status bar. Which bar? Status bar. Currently, it's into which mode? Ready mode here. Ready mode. But whenever you are running a macro or so many functions, formulas, macros, that time you might have noticed here, it will be showing calculating something like calculating, working. calculating, working, calculating. But now it is into which mode? Mm -hmm. Nothing is running in background as of now. Got it? Okay, and these are sheets. We are also calling at times tab. Can you go to working tab? Can you go to row data tab? Yeah, row data and working tab. So this is called as a, these are, in each ribbon we'll having group. This is called this is called this is called zooming option this is called status bar a b c d r 1 2 3 4 r title bar you were writing this right we will be have will be it <laughs> this section i will tell you ribbons these are the ribbons groups clipboard font alignment these are the groups Name box, formula bar, columns and rows. A, B, C are columns, rows are one, two, three. Sheets, these are the sheets. Status bar, zooming option. Got it? Now, now, 
if I want to give border here, what I will do? I will go to home ribbon. I will go here and I will say all borders. Right? Same thing. I want to give a border here. Again, I'll click at it. Click on it, right? But I want to remove the borders. Then what I'll do again, I'll go here and I will remove the border. Again, I'll select it. I will go here or click on it. Applying removing borders. But mostly like we are using the same like borders 90% whenever you're working in Excel file, 90% we are using this right function. Frequently used functions like filters or borders, copy paste, these are the frequently used, right? So can we have that into QAT? What is QAT? Quick access toolbar. Quick access toolbar. Like in our cell phone also. In our cell phone also, if you look at your cell phone, if you unlock it, three things, minimum three, four things will be on your desktop itself. Let's suppose here I am just unlocking this. These things, right? You are using here, like one will be WhatsApp, one will be text message, other will be call, third will be camera or YouTube kind of thing, right? Happens. Why you are having all these things here? Okay, it will take less time. Quick access, right? Same thing, quick access here also, we can have it. How can I have it? I want to create that all borders here. I will do it. What I will do, I'll go to home. Click on it. All borders are here, right? Right click on it and say, the moment I click on it, can you see it's available here now? And I also want no borders. What I will do, I'll go here and I'll say right click and Now directly I can apply, click, choose it, click on it. I want to remove the borders. I want to remove these borders, select it and click on no borders. I want to create a border here, select it, click on. This is called quick access toolbar. And I, I can also tell you that what is the shortcut key or the hotkey for what is the hotkey for all borders? What is the difference between hotkeys and uh, shortcut keys? Yesterday I told you, right? Yes. Step by step, one by one, right? And how can I know that what is the hotkey for all borders? Which key I need to press? Alt key. I press Alt key. And I know that the all borders are available into which ribbon? Home ribbon. Alt, then I will press H. Then borders are where? B. B is there. All borders means A. A. I'll hit A. Can you see border? Nothing but Alt H B A. Alt plus H plus B plus A. Alt H B A. Simply I can select it, I can see Alt H B A. Same thing, if I want to know what is the hotkey for filter, I'll press Alt key and I know that it's available into data. I'll press A and T, T for filter. But for that, you need to select this range, then you can apply Alt A T. Applied in a C filter. Alt A T. Alt A T. Alt A T. Done. But not only this, whenever I press Alt key, can you see some numbers are also getting highlighted? So if I say select it, if I say Alt number seven, what will happen? Alt number seven, Alt and number seven. One minute. If I hit Alt number six, what will happen? Alt number six. One minute. Alt number six. Clear? What is your favorite number? Six. 
ಧೋನಿ ಎಂ ಎಸ್ ಧೋನಿ ಲಕ್ಕಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಎಸ್ ಪರ್ ಪವರ್ಫುಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ವೈ what is this number what is this number now now see right so what i am saying is why i ask you lucky number is if i am pressing this alt this number 7 right number 6 i do not like this number 6 and 7 i want this should be your number 1 number 1 and number 2 it should be here number 2 is you right so that i want i want to shuffle this can i can i can i drag it here no how can i drag how can i make this as this as number 1 this as number 2 how can i do it right click anywhere in this here or here right click wherever you want right click or let's suppose click on it right click here for one minute customize the ribbon yes go to qat choose this move up so this is number 1 choose this move up no no one minute this should be the one right now one and two hit okay now you see alt key one and two clear one and two now no more seven sorry to say okay <laughs> okay guys all set okay next is this keyboard shortcut list i have here around 240 plus hotkeys and shortcut keys 240 plus hotkeys and shortcut keys combination of both the homework is this today you have to learn all these hotkeys and shortcut keys and tomorrow i'll ask you 240 ಸರ್ಟ್ that is a yeah, corporate yeah, dialogue yeah. Yeah. Mm, correct i agree with your point i'll tell you one thing it's not necessary it's not mandatory to learn all these shortcut key and hot keys even i don't know all these i don't know yes that's true i don't know all these shortcuts and hot keys whatever i'll using i will be using i will tell you that this is the shortcut key or hot key so that you can mention in your diary or your notepad okay but how to use it that i'll tell you how to use this sheet i'll tell you example here i'm giving color which color i gave i'm putting my cursor here i'm not going back here and i'm not clicking on it simply i'm hitting f4 key which key i applied 
F4 key I'm applying. See, F4 key, F4. What's happening? Repeat action. This is called repeat action. So can you see here, key, which key? F4 key. And this is called alone, alone. The header is, if you press this key alone, what happen? If you, if you press this key, F2 key alone, what will happen? Edit mode. You know this F2 key, right? Because if I'm entering formula there, suppose 10, 20, and 30. How can I edit the formula? I hit, I need to enter F2 key. Can you see? F2 key is edit mode. Which mode? <laughs> edit mode. If I want to enter some comments here, comments, what I'll do, right click and hit insert comment. Same thing I can enter with the help of shortcut key. The shortcut key is shift F2, shift and F2 key. Can you just one minute? F2, shift F2, can you see? Shift F2. So here, shift and which key? F2 key, shift F2 key, result is, I want to insert a new sheet, right click insert new sheet. I can insert from here, but shift F11. What is it? That's how you need to use it. Clear? Any questions on this? How can we use this? Let's suppose control A, control A is what? Select all, control B, control B is what? If I'm writing here, E, X, E, L, one minute, let me write somewhere. E, X, E, L, I am saying, I am saying control B is bold. I can also hit control two, number two, same. Control three, what happened? Italic. Control three or control I, italic. I am saying control U means underline. I can say control four, also underline. So everything is here. Control and three, one, two, three. Two is for what? Bold. Three is for what? Italic. And then, not it. That's how you need to use it. I'm not gonna explain each and every shortcut and hotkeys here, but whenever I'll be using during the session, shortcut key, hotkey, I'll tell you. Done? Any questions, online participants? Today is your first day, right, class? Any questions, guys? Arjun, Srikant, Dranga, Venkat, Trimurthulu. So, sir, how many sheets contain in one workbook, sir? Sorry? How many sheets will be available in one workbook? Normally, sheets. How many sheets in work? In how many work? sheets? How many sheets? Uh, okay, multiple no sheets. Multiple. How many sheets do you want? More so than generally, the, there is an end for a row and there is an end for a column. No? In the same way, there yes. is an end for the sheet. If I am not wrong, around it will be 250 plus, if I am not wrong. 256 okay. something. Yeah. More than that also. I have never ever tried. But in order to have so many sheets, better you can create different files. Because who will check to 256 sheets? Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. Thank you. Okay, that's it for today. Uh, you. See you tomorrow, same time, 7.30 sharp. One more. Is your time. Sorry. Sorry? One more. Uh, yellow. Is a shortcut case is then a case alone, shape, control, alt. Mm. Yes, yeah, okay. Uh, what is the combination of uh, key and alone? No, I didn't understand the little bit clarity. Combination like why I'm telling th these are the keys. Okay. If you will press this key, which key? F4, F4 key alone, alone. F4 key alone. If I am giving color here, example, I'm giving color here. And now I am pressing F4 key alone. Simply I'm hitting okay. F4 key. Okay. Simply hitting F4 key. What's happening? Repeat okay, action. Sir. Repeat action. Repeat action. Got it? That's how you need to use it. If I'm hitting shift plus F2, shift and F2 key, what will happen? 
edit format. If I may take shift plus F11, what will happen? New work. New work. That's how you need to use it. If okay. I hitting control key plus A, what will happen? Select all. If I say control plus C, what will happen? Copy. That's how you need to use it. Okay. That's it for today, guys. Have a nice day ahead and please uh, reach out to front office team, get registered yourself and take the file access. This is the number. And we will practice on the same file. For next three, four days, the basic class will be there. Tomorrow we are going to discuss about data types. Very, very important. We need to understand our data types, number formats. Okay. Then we'll discuss about cut, cut, copy, paste, and paste special. Paste special will be like all these things in detail. Whatever you see here, everything we'll discuss. And whatever tabs, whatever groups we see, everything we'll discuss. Okay? Thank you so much, everyone. Bye. Have a nice day.